this is Tina from Inner Delight and welcome to Adventures on the Joy Sprinkle Trail. That's what I've been calling the adventure that I've embarked on. It started a while ago. Right now it's the beginning of September 2012 and in the middle of June I was experiencing something was shifting and business was going very very slow. It was almost as if the plug got pulled out and by the end of June I realized that it felt very different than before. And there was no money coming in. I didn't have money to pay the rent and I had only just moved into the place where I was living and I really loved it there but also realized that I did not want to go on living this way and something had to shift. I was in the middle of um, a deep transformational process with lots of support from Nalini, Mary Nalini McNabb from DelphicWave.com and everything was shifting, you know, the way that I was relating to myself, the way I was relating to life, all the definitions I had held of who I was and what roles I'd played, everything was coming up for review and things were just outdated and were not working anymore. So as everything was seemingly falling apart on the outside, on the inside there was this huge renovation happening and so it happened at the beginning of July I called the owner of the place I was living and told him that the you know the way things were going and that I thought it'd probably be better if he found someone else to move in and that I would start um, getting ready to move out I remember sitting at my place in the beginning of July and looking around at everything the furniture everything that I had in my home and thinking, my gosh, if I'm going to move, then everything here is going to have to move as well. Whew, what a job. I'd only just settled in. So I decided to just start taking some pictures and put the stuff up on the internet to offer it up for sale. And lo and behold, within a couple of hours, people started calling me for furniture. And within three weeks, almost everything was sold. This to me felt like such support and grace in making this transition go effortlessly that I felt incredibly supported. And in the fourth week, was actually the last week before moving out of my place, um, I still had my mattress. I was very attached to my mattress because it was very comfortable and I said, you know, if I don't get a good price for it, then I'm just going to put it in storage and uh, take it back to Australia with me because that had come up that it was time to go back to Australia and leave Holland and go on this adventure trail. Well, things with that changed as well. But I was going to the gym and realized that while I was running uh, to see where I was not experiencing oneness in my life, where I was still experiencing separation, and I got a visual of this mattress as being this dense uh, piece of furniture that was really, really dragging me down. And I called on Grace to infuse that mattress and to infuse my home with that presence of Grace to let everything be transformed into light. And you know, I finished running, checked my email and someone had made an offer for the bed and the mattress a couple of days ago. And when I finished working out after this Grace infusion, she sent me a message to say that she was coming to pick up the bed and the mattress. And when she actually did come to pick it up, it was kind of funny because she said, wow, you know, I don't normally, I wouldn't normally buy a mattress secondhand, but there was something about this when I read your message that I just had to come. And so it's funny how it works out. So I had let everything go. I didn't know exactly where I was going to go, except that I was going to visit Nicola, the 5D girl, di the diary girl in France. And then the plan was to go to Australia. Well, then I got an invitation to go to the south of France to visit my other friends down there, Stephen and Barbara. And then my friends here, Carl and Paul, asked me if I would consider extending my stay and coming with them on their Opera Familia concert tour from November to January and then go to Australia. So that's where I'm at. I'm actually staying at a beautiful friend's place who invited me to be here with her and her family. And I didn't know how long that was going to be. I thought maybe just a few days and then move somewhere else. But I've been here for three weeks, three magical weeks. The place being here, as you see, the trees are behind me. It's a gorgeous place to, I feel so held and so nurtured and so cherished being here and so supported on this joy sprinkle trail. 
everyone is getting involved and coming up with ways that we can make this fun and to share this adventure really being you know sharing through these videos that wow this is just my way of expressing my joy in the world and as I connect with others who are experiencing and expressing their joy in other ways then maybe it may ignite something within you if it hasn't already if there is any any part of you that feels that you would like to experience things in a different way or feel more free are you holding on to any of the roles or do you have any rules or limitations in place that where you feel stuck where you really feel you'd like to do something else if only well how about giving yourself the opportunity of allowing that to unfold in your life and just following your joy sprinkle trail doesn't mean you have to let go of your home of your belongings that's what I happen to do but it may call for you to let go of any outdated beliefs about yourself and what you're capable of you know if anyone's ever told you that they don't think that you're able to do something that's just their belief don't buy into it if there's something that makes you happy and there's something you would like to do and you don't know yet how you could make that happen just start sharing with others about it that's how the Joy Sprinkle Trail came to be and I am going on the train tomorrow going to France and it's like this huge adventure I'm so excited I look forward to connecting with you and keeping you posted on these adventures and connecting with lots of others on the way because if everyone hears this Joy Sprinkle Trail they all start getting as happy as I feel about it so it's already working I wish you a most joyful day may your Joy Sprinkle Trail unfold every step of the way for you in each moment and may you discover joy in places that you hadn't even considered possible before life as an adventure thanks for watching please share with your friends and until the next time many joyful blessings bye give you a little view of the area where i'm at so beautiful look maybe the bright and sunshine but we have a gorgeous day here Lots of trees recharging in nature.